What's up guys, back with another video for you here. This right here is going to be the last part of my black metal and then we'll be moving into Doom. So uh, yeah, it's the last part here. Excuse my redness, I am sunburnt as all living shit. I went kayaking on a camping trip and fishing trip I guess and uh, I didn't wear any sunscreen. So here we are. My legs are the worst, but uh, we'll be all right here. So what we're listening in the background is breeding the spawn by summoning, or summoning, suffocation. So let's just cut right on into it. First one up here is this album I don't know how to pronounce, but it's by Venericket. German, black metal, ambient, black metal. Very, very one of a kind, very slow, but brooding at the same time. And no, the CD is not backwards. It's one of these. It's a great album. There's the inside of the disc. I love Vinericket. Um, sometimes when you listen to too much of it, start getting a little monotonous. But it, this, uh, this book's chock full of good stuff. Really cool photos. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just flip through a couple of them because pretty much every one of the pictures are great. I mean, it's hard to try to tell you something that sounds like this because honestly, I can't think of any bands that sound like this. It's got like the same atmosphere as Londum to me, which is weird because they sound nothing, nothing alike. But uh, nonetheless, Bittericket Rules. This is a great, great, great album. Pick up anything you can by this band. Next is Black Legion Spirit by Vlad Tepes. Killer demo compilation, sort of. Great, great, really raw shit. I don't listen to this all that often because frankly this raw thing isn't my personal favorite style of black metal, but nonetheless, this is amazing. It's got a bath recover of Bastille Lust, and this has, you know, some of the songs like uh, From the Celtic Moon Frost and War Funeral March in the Gray Mist of the Full Moon Night. It's just, if you know them, you know this stuff. Um, yeah, Los Legions Noir is a really great set of bands. And this is pretty much all there is to it. Raw ass black metal. If you haven't heard Black Tapas, you know what you're getting into now. Next is a Russian band that took me forever to figure anything about. They're the, yeah, they're Russian. But apparently it's pronounced Vol, V O L H. But that's how you spell it. Um, they are NS. But this is an amazing, amazing album. I can't even read the titles, but they did put translations, which is cool. But yeah, I mean, they have songs called Don't, Be Don't Believe, Rise Up, The Tired Beast, uh, Glory to White Wolves, <laughs> stuff like that. Glorious is the Way of Heroes to Valhalla. Uh, came out in 2004. 2006. It's out of 20 by 04 Records, which I've never heard of. But um, all the bands on the similar label are sketchy as balls as well. So I'm assuming it's an NS label. I'm showing you that because it's a two-page booklet, so why not? But uh, yeah, check out Vol. V O L H. It's both black metal. There's a lot of that mouth harp. You know the thing that Boings, that Goat Moon likes to use. Great. Great album. Next is Utter the Tongues of the Dead by Void Meditation Cult. Bear Worship from Ohio, I believe. This has floated around a shitload in the past, I think, two years when it came out. 27 or 2016. Wow, 2016 is two years ago. Um, geez. But this is a great, great album. I mean, you guys have all heard this stuff before. If you like Beharit, you like this. The lyrics are really good, which is surprising because usually stuff with, you know, 
just the names like the Antichrist prevails and stuff and defile and devour you'd expect the lyrics to be kind of tacky but the, it's done in a really tasteful and well done way which I truly can appreciate because why would you not want good lyrics in your metal uh, but if you do like the Herit, this is definitely good for you next I didn't take the sticker off for some reason this is a uh, I got it from my buddy. It's Trench Warfare by the band Warlust. Not 9S, just war themed, like Marduk, and being similar theme to Marduk, this is pretty much Marduk calling lyrics, music, everything. This is fucking vicious, man. Fucking vicious. Super in your face, no fucks given, black metal. They do whatever the hell they want, and that's something I can truly appreciate. I'm trying to take the sticker off, but it's pretty on there, so I think I'll worry about it later. Uh, but yeah, if you like stuff like Enthroned and Marduk and Dark Funeral, and all war themed black metal. Next, Rabbit Death's Curse by Watane. I love this. It looks so good. Even if the packaging is damaged, I think it looks good with it. My packaging isn't in the perfect condition, but it's in pretty damn good shape. And the little things make it look cool, I think. And it, it looks kind of old like that. There's the inside. Cool uh, kind of collages from like old designs or zines and stuff. Great stuff out in Season of Mist. Reissue at least. Um, you guys have all heard of Tame before. Come on. Great album. Next is a band that people don't talk about. Uh, Fole Circulare, some shit like that, I don't know, by Withered. Black Death, it's kind of sludgy, from Louisiana. It's a good, good album. I saw these guys open for Morbid Angel. They didn't have any CDs when I saw them. Uh, it's out on Prosthetic Records, by the way. And I was pissed because I bought a t-shirt. And then, lo and behold, I went to the record store within like the next week or so. And they had this for the album that I'm about to long sleep of. So I'm not going to complain. But check it out if you like sludgy Black Death. Next, got it from my buddy. This is Cursed by Woden's Throne. Have fun tracking on the vinyl for this one, motherfucker. It's like, jeez. You're going to pay out of your ass for it. Suffocation rips. Uh, Woden Throne. It's just a great atmospheric black metal band from the UK. I believe England. I don't remember which part of the UK. England or Scotland. It's one of the two. I don't, I don't remember. Or Wales. Maybe. I don't even know. I just know it's not Ireland. <laughs> Woden's Throne. Next. Wolves in the Throne Room. Beat them with 12 stars. Finally picked up this CD. It took me way too long to get it, considering it's probably the best Wolves in the Throne Room material. This or the next one I'm going to show are my two favorites. I'm not going to show you the booklet because then we're going to be here forever. But um, yeah, it's a great album. You guys have all heard this one. I just look at that picture and that picture and those pictures. Look at all these pictures. They're so nice. It's such a pretty album to look at. <laughs> Next is Celestial Lineage by Wolves of the Thorner. More pictures. More pretty pictures. They're good at that. They're really good at pretty pictures. But it's a great, great album. I always love this band photo. And I love the intro to this album a lot. Uh, with the female singing and kind of like the ambient noise. With the keyboard synth stuff. and It's just a good... It's a good release all around. I'd love to get like a vinyl press of this or something. I need to track it down eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it. Bulls in the Throne Room. Next, one of my favorite bands in metal, period. This is Woods 4, the Green Album by Woods of Ypres. This is the only Woods of Ypres CD that I have because I'm kind of lazy and I don't like ordering off the internet. But uh, band photo, Dave Gold, Rip, Dave Gold. I like how it says recyclable in there. Yeah, this is such a good album. I mean, for some reason, a lot of people don't know this band or don't like them or something because I don't hear nearly enough about Woods of E-Prey. But uh, if you don't, picture like Typo Negative mixed with like Noor Watane. 
more, these later albums are more of that goth doom, more than the black metal, but uh, this is a great, great album, I've listened to this so many times, if you guys want, I could make a video of like the most listened to CDs in my collection, I thought about doing that a while ago and I just never ran it past you guys to see if you guys like the idea, Woods of Me Pray, Woods 4, next, saw these guys in December, Depths by Woman is the Earth, this band rips, signed by the whole band. These are some of the nicest human beings you'll ever meet in your entire life. They are like hanging out after their show, getting all kinds of praise and shit. I literally talked to the drummer for like 45 minutes. It just cause. <laughs> like I would, he was like, yeah, just wait here. I'll keep talking to you. I was standing at the merch table, he was handling everybody, and he was like talking to me in between customers and stuff, and I was like, you're the nicest dude ever. But uh, yeah, they're great. If you like the darker side of atmospheric black metal, kind of more engulfing, like you're watching a fog roll in and go fast and kind of like go all the way over your body and everything around you, Wo uh, Woman is the Earth is good with that one. Next, it's a band that I don't know if I, I don't have an opinion on yet. This is Common by Word, W-Y-R-D, or Weird, or something like that. I love this album cover, so I blind bought it when I first bought it, because I've heard people talk about it, and I figured I'd like it a lot. I don't know how I feel about it yet. This album is not really my thing, but from what I've heard from other people, is their other albums are way different, and I need to pick up more of it to get a full opinion on this group. Uh, but I like this disc art, how it looks like a tree stump on the inside. And I like how it's just one big picture for the art. Very cool. Finish. Black Doom, I guess. Next is Funeral of Being by Zastar. Great, great album. I do like this one a lot. It's not my favorite Zastar material. Zastar, I don't listen to a shitload of Zastar like I used to. But I do like Zastar still, and when I'm in the mood for something really, like, in your face, these guys really, or he really does the trick for that harsh, harsh DSBM type stuff. This is my favorite, or uh, Defective Epitaph. This is Telepathic with the Deceased by Zastar. Yeah, this one and Defective Epitaph are my two favorites. I love this Catacombs photo and then this chandelier made out of human parts. That fell onto my sunburn. And I was still more worried about the book label. Behind there, put the CD back in. Out of Morbon. Great, great album. More bone part furniture. Great release. And last one is Sorrow Galaxy by the Portal of Sorrow by Zaster. Shit up. Awful, awful, awful release. I don't like this whatsoever. But I want to be a completionist, especially with a band that I like, like Zaster. And yeah, I will be picking up even the hippie shit that they, everybody calls it. But it's just folk music. <laughs> it's folk music with a message. But uh, Zaster, this album's awful. The earlier stuff's great. This is the only Zaster material I don't like from what I've heard. I even like the new stuff. So that'd be it. I got about halfway there to a collection update. And then I'll be good, guys. So catch you guys in the next video. Keep it greasy.